book of photos from the entire album. I opened up this dang box and it was just all the most beautiful BTS related goodies in the world. Mm. Do you see my outfit already right now? It's like this and this. Music. You're ready to go to the concert right I now. Just and These are my two brain cells. If you're a pupper, you need to try Clute Box. Clute Box specially curates a box full of collectible K-pop merch and delicious Korean snacks straight to your door every season. Just go to clutebox.com, choose your favorite K-pop group and member, and don't forget to enjoy Clute Box with your friends. You know, you know only I mean? if we had this when yeah. we were watching the Blackpink concert uh, last I year. I know. Like you should go ahead and get one. Thank you so much, Clutebox! What up, guys? Today we're gonna be checking out something interesting yet again regarding BTS. And then uh, just K-pop with BTS and then the scope of K-pop is actually quite interesting. Trans BTS has created. So, as you guys know, they... Not only did they open up, you know, a lot of just like doors here in America for K-pop in general, other groups in general, but they also did just like grow, like as they progressed in their career, they did a lot of things that became trendy. So I'm gonna take a look at them right now, see if we agree with some, see if we disagree with some, because some things might be like like oh, another group has done it. I actually read a comment and it did, it, like I, I agree with it, and it was like it. Another group may have done it earlier or first, but BTS did it in a way that other people wanted to do it. If that makes sense. So I agree with that. Hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned for more on here. Let us know what else to check out. Uh, I, I'm solo right now, but we're gonna be together again, or just like like usual in another in, in the future, in very soon. I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, check out the BTS playlist here on YouTube and then over on Patreon. Make sure you guys go binge everything that we have for BTS. We checked out everything from their early stages of, you know, when uh, after debuting, which is like American Hustle Life, other variety show content, uh, movies. We did the, we recently watch the, the, the Yet to Come in Busan, and we did a review here. Make sure you guys check that out as well. Hope you guys do. Let's get to it. We got watched out K-dramas as well, if you guys like K-dramas and other things, movies, over on Patreon. Thank you if you do, end up support. Okay. Let's see. Unlike other Korean groups, BTS lacked the resources and opportunities others had in the Korean music and entertainment industry. Mm. This is why they had to find ways of creating and spreading their own content. So naturally, there are some trends that BTS has accidentally created or helped popularize. So in this video, I'm going to rank some of them. But before, I want to highlight that I'm not saying that BTS invented all of the following things, just that they made them trends. I repeat, like BTS did not invent all of these things they just popularize them City so please Very watch the full video with my explanations before commenting also a special thank you to mega who let me add some things from her twitter thread number 11 popularizing big performances I came across a tweet that said that BTS popularized putting 30, 50 or even 100 people on stage oh. I didn't see I didn't know that one. I know that like they did that and they've done it so well. And in this video by the channel, I remember hey, like my hey, favorite hey. I think of their top performances, I think it was the Melon Music Awards. I remember because it was green. I forget what year it was exactly. But it was the one with the with the with the tigers, the pumas. That one was amazing. It was like thirty minutes, maybe a little longer. And dancers killer. said that BTS were the ones who started to have that lots of dancers grander, and that like, it became oh, a hot huge. topic when they did it. So I don't know if other groups had hundreds of backup dancers before, but the fact that BTS became a hot topic in the Korean dancing community when they did it shows that they at least helped popularize it in the country. Number 10, the Tiny Sevens on Because you also gotta do it well, you gotta use, utilize the dancers, so maybe like if other groups had done it in the past, they didn't, it wasn't utilized to the best of the of the uh, of like the performance's ability so when bts did it that's when it became like i think because they they to clarify they that armies <laughs> did not invent this they which is really a trend although this had already been done before it was in 2020 when media outlets yeah. trend on twitter i want to clarify that armies sounds. did not that invent so this cool. we just made it a I, trend I although it. this had already been done before it was in 2020 when media outlets and non-fans started noticing that a lot of twitter accounts included a small seven after their names this was a way of celebrating and promoting the release of map of the soul seven as well as their seventh and 
anniversary. But the number 7 is so important to BTS that we never stopped using it. Since it also represents the 7 members, this important album in BTS's career, BTS breaking the 7 year K-pop curse as well as good luck. Also 7 like means of very good luck, right? Right? Yeah. yeah, like jackpot. Lucky number seven. Yeah, lucky number seven. And I say that this really became a trend when armies started doing it because it was the first time it was actually noticeable. Around that time, there were a lot of articles explaining the trend to locals who googled what does the tiny <laughs> seven on Twitter mean. This had such a big impact that many famous verified accounts joined the trend, such as I'm Paper sick. Magazine, Mason Ramsey, <laughs> DJ Swivel, The Tonight Show, and The Late Late Show. Nowadays, it's extremely common for other fandoms to include a symbol that represents their favorite artist when they have a comeback. How do you and even I've get also that? seen See, films of Twitter movies, series, cool and it. YouTubers doing the same. Number nine, reacting to their own music videos. I love that. I'm a very like visual person. Like I like visual things that are aesthetic. So like seeing that is just so cool. Make it just personified. I love seeing it. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Reacting to their own music. Videos? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I really couldn't find any other artists that released reactions to their own music so. videos before BTS. So See, that's even the thing, like, we haven't checked out a lot of things before BTS, so I can't really speak. Uh, but I remember checking out their reactions to, like, a lot of people asking them when they first started doing them. Or, like, when we first started reacting them, reacting to BTS. They were like, check out their reaction to it. And it was, if I can recall, there wasn't that many at the time. Like, we didn't check out the many reactions from other groups to their music videos. I don't think it was like done that much. Even if someone did it before, their impact was not as big as BTS's because since they did it, it became a common thing in K-pop and now everyone does it. <laughs> Number eight, unboxing their own albums. <laughs> And the same goes with singers who do unboxing it's so videos fun of their theirs. own they, 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 they Suga have has been doing when unboxing and reviews when they, when they since their BTS's first album stuff. in 2013. And then all the guys from BTS started doing the same. I really couldn't find other artists that did this before BTS. But the fact that now it's expected for K-pop acts to do this type of video shows that BTS at least started the trend. Number 7. Giving their fandoms a matching logo. It was always pretty common for singers to give their fandoms a name. However, BTS were the first to give their fandom a logo, and not any logo, but a matching fandom <laughs> logo, in 2017. Since then, other groups have also given logos to their fandoms, and some of them also match their group logos. Number 6, releasing music. That is really cool. Contract. That's the thing. I've always seen ARMY's logos, right? Like, you know, it's like a thing. With other fandoms, that's not really a knock, like, on the YouTube. I don't really notice. Like, it's usually just the group's logo. But are... Is he even that's the... Because even with BTS, like, I know their logo. With other groups, it's usually... It's usually just their name. You know what I mean? That makes sense. So, like, in terms of logos, I... Like, BTS and ARMY definitely know. Here in the United States, uh, artists put Wait, out... Six releasing music on Fridays. States uh, artists put out What's singles, it? one single, two single, three single before the record drops. In South Korea, you don't do that. For years, Korean artists have released their songs and albums on Mondays, since the tracking week for Korean music shows begins on Wednesday. Yeah, I noticed that. And they usually switch between Mondays However, and Fridays. However, since BTS saw a real like, opportunity for what? success in since the West, they've been releasing their music on Fridays because the Billboard charts tracking week begins on Fridays and ends on Thursdays. So releasing music on Fridays will make the artists lose points in Korean charts, since only three days are being counted instead of the full seven. However, BTS are the only ones they were, they, that they, they, they release on Fridays the and they still accumulate enough points to sweep the entire following week oh, of that's music actually shows, amazing. only three days of tracking, as we've seen on music shows for the like past years. Like the reason they years. changed was for the so, billboard, but then it didn't matter because other Korean still, singers began the doing the same, risking their first wings on Korean music shows and prioritizing their small chance in the billboard charts. Number five, Halloween dance practices. Ha <laughs> 
Dance practice videos have always been a common thing in K-pop. However, BTS were the first ones to release Halloween-themed dance practices. Sadly, Chucky they Chucky. stopped this tradition, but the trend is still alive, since now it's a very common thing in K-pop. I want to it's quickly mention way. that the most recent Halloween content we had was this, and it's so funny, but it's better than nothing, <laughs> I guess. Anyway, but it's also because I... You could like when when they started doing it is to grab the attention because it's so it, it is different. So now that they are where they are, they don't really need to do it. Which is funny that this is what they really Place, need to number four Twitter accounts. Jungkook이 생일 축하해요. BTS were the first Korean artists to be extremely active on social media, even before their debut. This was their only way of promoting themselves, since their label did not have the resources to promote them the traditional way, which was on TV. This was around a time when interactions between K-pop acts and fans were heavily restricted and moderated by their companies. So BTS were the first ones to have real open communication via social media, especially on Twitter. This is why in 2000. 2017, BTS were nominated and got their first big American award, the Top Social Artist at the Billboard Music Awards. Only days after they got the award, many K-pop groups opened Twitter accounts and started releasing content similar to BTS's. Thanks to BTS, being active on social media is now a must in K-pop. Number three, I mean, having it is a great way to promote. Channel. Nowadays, it's almost impossible for a group to debut without a YouTube channel that includes casual content, such as blogs, behind the scenes, and other videos similar to BTS's Bangtan Bombs and Bangtan episodes. But it was not always like this. BTS have been releasing this type of casual behind the scenes content on their YouTube channel since pre debut. But it was only after BTS started gaining significant worldwide popularity that other groups started their own YouTube channels. And I really don't think it's a coincidence that all of these groups started their YouTube content on November of 2017. After they won their first Billboard Music Awards, there were groups that first created their YouTube channels, groups that revived their abandoned YouTube channels, and groups that rebranded their YouTube channels to include more personal content and not only music videos and performances. Of course, I'm not saying that BTS invented having YouTube channels or releasing That's casual Chipotle. more personal content. Love I actually found a couple The other day, actually, it has nothing to do with the video, but I got two Chipotle orders for the price of one because I don't know what happened but I got two and then I was gonna save it for later but I ate both in a span of 30 minutes it was good others that anyway. did the same or releasing casual more personal content I actually it's a great way a to connect and interact that did the same but none of them to the extent of BTS or as successful as them proving that it was at least an inspiration to these other groups to do the same number two popularizing yeah, I mean they saw how like successful it was in terms of being able to connect with the fans and also just being able to people to get to know them you know like even outside because then you, you use the YouTube algorithm or now the TikTok algorithm or anything like to, to get your stuff out there because obviously that was the only way that they could do it because they, they, they didn't get put on on the many shows. They were from a small company, so getting a show was pretty hard and the, it was it worked. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> Neighbor, the Google of Korea, launched their live video streaming service VLive, also known as VAP, in 2015. The website had a couple of groups active since its release, but BTS were the ones who started gaining massive worldwide success around this time. Therefore, they were the ones that brought the most international traffic to the app. So much so, I think that they bought me live or that they joined with Nowadays, Weebers. almost every K-pop artist uses this website, which now has 1,450 This was six months ago. Channels. I thought Belive closed fact, for longer than that. In a fun fact, BTS's company Hive has yeah. now bought Belive, so it's not under Naver anymore. It's under Weaver's company. But the app did not only become popular because BTS had live streams here. Since BTS were known for releasing more personal and casual content, Belive saw a significant growth when they decided to release their own shows on the app. This is why number one is making their own online variety shows that's the biggest thing like 
run BTS is such a hit. Like even till now. The biggest type of content BTS has created is making their own online variety shows. Before them, there were a couple of K-pop groups that had their own variety shows, but all of them were filmed and broadcasted by Korean broadcasting stations. And again, since BTS came from a very small company, they were not <coughs> invited to pre-existing variety shows. And having a TV network to yeah, produce like their, their own... Yeah, like their opportunities from these companies was very sparingly because those companies wanted, you know, more... Cool, like from groups from bigger companies that that they could promote better because obviously bts obviously they were doing their their, their thing but being from a smaller company you're less promotable so they were like you know what we're just going to promote ourselves we're going to grow an o o our own audience make our own show and kill it and now i, I think every group has their own variety show this is why they created run bts their own variety show available only online and also the first variety show ever to not be affiliated to pre-existing broadcasting stations run bts was filmed by their own staff and posted on be live for free that and their other free. show bon voyage was posted on the premium version oh of B -Live. i miss bon voyage and like I just mentioned, this show's popularity guaranteed the success of the app. Now, almost every Korean group has their own variety show with similar content to the one of Run BTS. The majority of them are easily accessible on YouTube or BeLive. And of course, since BTS became the biggest group in the world, they began to be invited to every variety show. And broadcasting stations are more than happy to premiere their other shows, such as In The Soup on cable TV. <laughs> And get ready because Run BTS is coming back soon and we are getting lots of fun moments. Guys, over on Patreon, we're actually checking that out as well. Thank you for supporting us, Oh, well, that just switched up. What's up, KJ? Um, Unlike other. I agree. I think, yeah, this one was very. Like, obviously, I. I thought that other groups had. Like, they were already on VLive, but the fact that. Like, there's some things that I found out with that VLive thing. Whereas like there wasn't, it was BTS who kind of popularized it more, and that was really cool. I, a lot of these very much, very much I kind of already knew, but we didn't know to the extent of the influence that they had, or at least for myself. So it's really cool to see. Uh, some of the comments were also pretty interesting. What was it? Uh, what was it? What was it? Yeah, this one. Not being invited to broadcast variety shows. Okay, no problem. We create our own. Not asking smart, meaningful questions. Well, we got Weverse. You want you you want to restrict our screen time interaction with fans? Twitter, Vila, and YouTube. Um, so I, I love that. I, I read it before starting the video just to see what other people were saying. Oh, and they popularized the BT Twenty One characters. That is so true. Like the little, just like like Stray Kids having out with Stray Kids Zoo. Like it's just an adorable concept that that other groups also want to do it. It's also really fun. Like the like the variety show stuff. You don't have to get out of your like you know. Like, you can do it in-house. A lot of companies realize that as well. So, shout out for BTS for creating content. And then for, you know, it's cool that other other groups also find themselves in it as well. Like, they can express themselves in that way or Twitter and whatnot. So, it's cool that BTS did that for other groups as well. I hope I hope people don't find it. Like, I feel like when if a group does it and then other others follow, I feel like there's, like, animosity. At least from the other videos, it's like, why are you copying? But it's like... I don't know, I think it brings forward, like, just, like, more content, more people, more things for people to enjoy. So I personally enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think, though. Stay tuned for more. See you guys next time, and they will be back together soon. Peace. I love y'all.